morning for those of you who don't know my name is Maya Karen I run a fashion blog called classically kept it does feature luxury contemporary and how to style and now natural hair care so if you are into any of those things please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the notification bell that way you will never miss a video so today's video you guys know that I am so excited to report to you new incoming luxury pieces and trends and this time or next season I'll be sure to separate the shoes and the fashions because I feel like they do kind of need their separate videos because we do have many many shoe trends to talk about so let's go ahead and get started okay so the first five let's go over boot trends so the very first one which like I've said before like I said in my previous video about fall fashions for 2022 and 2023 I didn't know that these were kind of out of style, but now they're kind of having like a resurgence because you're not only going to see the classic ones, but you're going to see them in different textures, patterns, and things like that. So it is the thigh high boot. Like I showed you in my previous video, or if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I do have thigh highs over the knee boots from Colt Gaia with that gorgeous, exquisite heel. It is in black and then the heel is in gold. And then at one point, Saks did have the exact same boot, but with a silver hardware for the heel, okay? Okay. So it is going to be over the knee boot and while I was looking at all of these fashions on the runway I saw a gorgeous pair of knitted ones and they did kind of have a couple of like perforations or holes in them Not my kind of style for me. They would probably be very impractical, but they were gorgeous But it's just going to be your average or your run of the mill Over the knee or thigh high boots. Of course, you're going to have your colors like white black burgundy bright uh, beige brown and probably like a very luscious forest green color but like I said you're also going to start seeing them in very many different fabrics okay and you're probably going to start seeing them in very bold bright colors as I mentioned in my trend report before you're going to start seeing them in very bright pungent colors like a very bright pink magenta also known as Valentino's Barbie core you're more than likely going to start seeing it in the pastel colors that are really in as well and that is going to be the mint green and the lilac okay so next number two is going to be to the knee boots typically when you see a riding boot or when you see your common boot for winter it's not necessarily going to come right to your knee or right at the beginning of your knee but for this season it is and it's still going to be the exact same thing you're still going to see it in different textures different patterns and all things like that okay number three is going to be a flat form and basically what that is it's just a platform with no heel so it's exactly what it sounds like it's going to be flat i have seen these on shop bop i have seen them on mango i have seen them on zara they're really going to be more so for your casual you'll be able to dress them up you'll be able to dress them down and it's going to be the exact same thing. You're going to have them in your regular colors, whether that be white, brown, or black. And then you're going to start to see them in those very pungent colors like I've mentioned before. The Barbie Core Valentino, the mints, and the purple, okay? And then the next one is going to be biker boots. Balenciaga, of course, I don't know if you've seen the boots. I'll put them right here. But it is their Balenciaga boot. It comes in black. I've seen them in black and I've seen them in white. A lot of your fashion it girls do have them because they got them to, to match the reissue of the city bag, okay? But it's going to be very chic biker boots. They're going to come in pointy toe. They're going to come with heels. They're also going to come in flat forms as well. And they're just going to come in regular flats, okay? The fifth boot trend is going to be wide waiter and basically what that is they are going to be over the knee boots or they are going to be to the knee boots but you're going to find that as you go up the shaft of the boot that they are going to be very wide now for me personally i like the over the knee boot not so much the biker boot and i do like the thigh high but for me like you always hear me say i am short petite and skinny so the wider boots are not going to be for me as a matter of fact when it comes to over the knee boots i have trouble finding ones that actually stay up to begin with so I already know that the wider boots are not going to be for me, but I have seen these on the runway in so many different renditions, again, color and texture. Also, I have seen them paired up and I've seen them paired down. I've seen them paired with shorts. I've seen them paired with pants. I've seen them actually have the pants tucked in. I've seen them with dresses. I've seen them with silks and blouses. So really it's going to be an all around everyday use of a boot, 
okay? The next one, so number six, what I have mentioned before in my other trends video for fall, is going to be the ballet flat. And it is exactly what it sounds like. It's just a simple ballet flat, whether they have the elastic over the foot or whether they're going to actually tie it in the back, which, be, which, would, which would be considered a point shoe. It's going to come in your typical colors. Like you heard me mention in my other video, Miu Miu, which all of theirs are selling out very quickly. To me personally, they look like, and I am classically trained, so I have done ballet and I have also done point. It looks like to me, if I was to go into like a ballet store and look for like a trapezio ballet flat or like just your common ballet shoe, it looks like that. It looks like Miu Miu just took that, slapped on the Miu Miu. Of course, the quality is going to be better. Ballet shoes are not cheap, but they are certainly not $900. But to me, it's going to be a no. When we are talking about flats, I like my flats pointy, okay? But ballet flats. Of course, you are going to see the Chanel. I know the Row has come out with some and so has Loewe, okay? Number seven is going to be oversized slides. For me, like you keep hearing me say, I am short, petite, and skinny. Anything oversized, just like I know oversized is still a really big trend, but anything for me personally, oversized is not it, especially oversized shoes. I am short, I do have small feet. So anything oversized, especially when it comes to my shoe, when there is too much material on my shoe or my, or my shoe is constructed with too much material, it just makes my feet look really bulky and it actually makes me look even shorter. So I understand the trend and the trend is probably not going anywhere, but for me personally, it's a no. But they are going to be really in for fall and winter. Number eight is going to be loafers, not just any loafers, but chunky loafers. We all know the Prada loafers. They have come back with a vengeance. They have made them in black. I have also seen them in white. And they will probably come out with red and they will probably come out with a trend color for fall and winter. But it is just going to be, in, in loafers, the classic loafer, like the Gucci Prince Town and then the Chanel loafers, they will always be classic. But right now they are really focusing on kind of like a grunge look, kind of to bring them into the 21st century. And it's just going to be really chunky. You will also see, I think it is, Versace they do have a platform which we will get into okay number nine is going to be the platform and I don't know how many times I have to say this this trend is not going anywhere but for me this is a hard 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 no and I'm not talking about you know the average platform I'm talking about the ridiculous platforms that are in right now I'm referring to, which we have all seen and I have shown you so many examples of, but I am specifically referring to the Valentino platforms. First, they debuted them um, with the closed toe. Then when it got warmer, they debuted them as the sandal. Then they also debuted them with their rock studs. And now they have incorporated or they have introduced the exact same shoe, but now it is an almond pointy toe, okay? It's a hard no for me. I understand the trend. I just don't find it very chic, classic, or elegant, but it's not going anywhere, okay? Valentino is doing it. Fendi is doing it. Balenciaga is doing it. Loewe is doing it. Amina Mawadi is doing it. All of your fashion houses, I haven't seen any Chanel, but all of, and I haven't seen any from Dior, but all of your fashion houses are doing the platform. And like I said, Valentino has just introduced the pointy toe and so have other fashion houses, but platforms. They're going to come in all of your typical colors for fall. And then of course you saw that day that um, Fendi or Valentino debuted the bright pink and then they kind of debuted the um, Barbie cord pink that they are now getting ready to coin probably, okay? But platforms, the higher, the better. Number 10. <laughs> And even before we get into this one, I know for a fact, for me, this is a hard, hard, hard no. Like I've said before, and like you guys have heard me say when it comes to fashion, there are some things that I feel as though that need to stay where they are, i.e. the dad sandal needs to stay with the dads. The platforms, the extreme platforms need to stay in the escort realm. Y'all know what I mean. Number 10 is clogs. It is giving me very much Dutch milkmaid. And whenever I think of claws, I just kind of think like those wooden ones with the painted little heart or whatever on, on the top of it. And of course, Prada has debuted their clogs. I have seen fuzzy ones. I have seen plaid ones. I have seen wooden ones. I've seen leather. I've seen 
shiny ones, they're just a complete no. I have no idea how to style these, me personally. Even when it comes to a skirt, when it comes to a dress, y'all know I don't wear pants, but even when it comes to pants, I just, I would have no idea how to style them. And I just, I just kind of feel like even when someone were to just dress up and then put on clogs, it's just like, where are you going in that? Like, what event are you going to in this? Are you going to the supermarket? Are you going to a meeting? Surely you're not going to a boardroom. Like, where are you going? And then on top of that, I kind of feel like it's almost impractical because half of your foot is out. I feel like for fall, depending on where you live, like right now here in the Carolinas, because it is raining, it's slightly cool. So I feel like when it's cool weather, depending on where you are, like right in the beginning of fall, which we're getting ready to get into, it's fine. But then when you get into like your brutal cold months, especially like in the New England states, I feel as though it's kind of impractical, but then I feel like as a fashion girl or someone who loves fashion, they would just throw on some socks, which to me would make it look even tackier. But clogs, if you love clogs, by all means, go right ahead. But I'm not talking about mules, I'm talking about clogs. You know, those quintessential, it has like the wooden uh, wooden platform and then it has like the round toe and then it's like the little strap. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about mules. Mules are very chic, but I'm talking about clogs, okay? If you love clogs, by all means, go right ahead. They are absolutely everywhere. You'll be able to find them at every single price point. I just know that for me, I am not in the least bit excited, okay? Next is going to be Mary Janes, and it's going to be your classic Mary Janes, like Mew Mew, and then it is going to be, of course, but what else? your platform Mary Jane's. I know you guys have all seen, I think it is the Versace Medusa. I've seen them in white and I've seen them in like this beautiful lilac color. For me, I am more partial to the just classic Mary Jane. I would prefer for it to actually be a pointy toe. But when you think of Mary Jane, just think of like the little saddle shoes that you wore to private school, okay? Of course, it's going to be elevated. I've seen Bottega Veneta, I've seen Amina Muwadi, of course you've seen Valentino, of course you have seen Versace. It's going to be in different colors, your different hues. Of course, you're going to see it in the Barbie Corp pink. You're going to see it in the mint. You're going to see it in the lilac. Then you're going to see it in more so of your colors that are synonymous with fall, which are going to be your deep burgundies, your beiges, your browns, your white, and your black, okay? So you have a pick. You can do the classic Mew Mew or you can do the platform ones, okay? It's up to you. Like I just said, I am partial to the classic one. And I think for the Mary Jane, I think that I would actually want it in a non-classic uh, color form, meaning I wouldn't want it in like the white or black or I wouldn't want it in like, the tan and black or the beige and black. I think I would be willing to step outside of my comfort zone with that. Like I imagine kind of maybe like a lilac Mary Jane. I think that would be very beautiful in a pointy toe. Number 12 is going to be fuzzy. This one for me personally, I am on the fence because I will say at one point, Fendi did almost get me, okay? I was on their website minding my own business and I saw just like your average or run of the mill black slide. But what got me is that the actual strap that goes over your toe was fuzzy. And it was the logo, but I think it was just done so beautifully. And by the time I went back to go get them, because y'all know I stock things before I buy them, they were sold out. I put my name to be notified and I was never notified, but they did almost get me. But for this trend for fall and winter, for me personally, it's going to have to be a very specific shoe. It's going to have to be done very strategically because there is this one pair from Loewe, I'm not really sure what's going on with these shoes, but for me personally, they look like the caveman split his shoe and now his big toe is exposed, okay? The other reason why I'm kind of on the fence about these fuzzy slippers or fuzzy shoe or fuzzy shoe trend is because I try to be delicate and cautious with my shoes, but it just never works. In real life, I am a klutz. When I used to dance ballet on a stage, I was not. But in real life, I am a klutz and I just kind of feel like with me and how I am with my shoes, I don't want like kind of like the bottom portion of the shoe to, that, that's fuzzy to be dirty, okay? So I'm on the fence about this trend. It's certainly not going to be that Loewe pair. If I, see a, if I see a shoe, I will definitely try it. But 
fuzzy. It's going to be the entire shoe is going to be fuzzy. I think it was Loewe again, or I think it was Balenciaga that has like an extreme bright orange fuzzy shoe, okay? But just fuzziness, fuzziness and warmth. The last trend, number 13 is going to be shine and shimmer. I do have a pair of, they are Steve Madden and they are more so of like a gun metal. They're not really silver. They're more of like a gun metal. And they are just like your average heel. They have a strap and then they have, of course, they're covering the toe. But shine and shimmer, you are going to, and as a matter of fact, when it comes to your clothing as well, it's going to be shine and shimmer as well. Not so much sequins, but they're call, they're kind of calling it like liquid metal and liquid gold now, but it's going to come all the way down to your shoe as well. So you're going to see gold shoes, you're going to see probably metallic burgundy, you're going to see your silvers. Of course, I'm going to be more partial to the gold, but it's just gold everything. It's going to be embellishments, you're going to see it in flats, you're going to see it in sandals, and you're going to see it in boots as well, okay? So any type of shoe that you can think of, it's going to come in a metallic, okay? Those are all the trends that I do have for you as far as boots are concerned or as far as shoes are concerned. I don't really need to do a video on accessories because it's kind of going to be the exact same thing. You're going to have your silver, you're going to have your gold, you're also going to have your statement. What I will tell you though, what is going to be in is going to be chokers, okay? Now, as far as fashion is concerned, whenever we start talking about trends, just because I'm telling you I don't like a trend or just because I'm telling you something is trending does not mean that you have to follow the trends. I do not follow all trends. Like for instance, when it comes to fashion or when it comes to clothing trends, low rise and micro minis were past that. If I can't walk down the street and I have to pull down my skirt, it's too short. I don't do minis, I don't do low cuts. So whenever I give these reports, it's just for inspiration, it's just for you to be notified. It's not for you to just go out and just start buying things. Make sure that whenever you are doing fashion, make sure that you are sticking with your aesthetic, make sure that you are sticking with your foundation pieces, but also make sure that you are experimenting a little bit. And I will give you a tip. If you do kind of want to dip your toe into like a new trend or kind of change your aesthetic a little bit, start with very affordable brands. Start with High Street. Let's say for instance, you do want to try the fuzzy trend. Look on Zara. Look on Mango. You don't have to walk into Prada or Chanel or Dior and say, give me those fuzzy slippers. That's not what fashion is about. That's not what an aesthetic is about. That's not what stylish is being about. It's all about incorporating the pieces that you have in your closet with transitional pieces, foundational pieces, and then doing a trend. If you go into H&M and you see a pair of fuzzy shoes and you absolutely love them and they work well with your closet and you love the trend, that's fine. If you feel like you want to have like a more elevated piece of a fuzzy, then even go a little bit higher. I would suggest to you maybe like a Jacque Mousse or maybe like a Colts Gaia. And then if you really, really love the trend and you're looking for something to stay in your closet for a while to kind of pull back out. Because here's the other thing. While we are talking about trends, the fuzzy shoe trend is not new. Fashion is ever revolving. So if you are choosing to, let's say, to go to Prada or go to Bottega and get those fuzzy shoes, Make sure that you absolutely love them, wear them while they are in, and then just put them in the back of your closet until it's time for fuzzy suit or for when it's time for fuzzy shoes to be on trend again, okay? Fashion is about fun and it is, it is about expressing yourself. And that is one of the reasons why I love fashion so much, okay? I just wanna remind you that here on YouTube, I do upload videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And of course, right here, I'll put my Instagram handle. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, you guys. Bye.